Hey folks, welcome back to Game Geeks. I'm your host, Kurt Weigel. Today's episode, we are going to be talking about another Delta Green product, this time the Labyrinth, which presents eight organizations for your characters in your Delta Green game to interact with. This is handler-only material because they don't shy away from the secrets in this book at all. You've got to be, so the players can't really know what's in here. You run into the organizations and interact with them in various and sundry ways. Some of these are friendly or helpful organizations. A couple of them are, well, at least one of them is kind of middle of the road. And then the last four are, oh my God, that is some nasty fucked up shit which is what you come to expect from the people at Pagan Publishing, Arc Dream, and Delta Green. All right. I'll say right up front, the writers of this and the people who make Delta Green are a thousand times smarter than I am. Because when I read through this with their ideas, I read through the concepts, I read through how to incorporate all of these into a game, and then I sit down to run a game for my friends, I feel like one of the Neanderthals at in 2001, banging something with a bone, trying to figure out how to make a game out of it compared to the people who write this stuff. You guys at Art Dream and Pagan Publishing, I respect the crap out of you for the ability for you guys to do this. So for each of these, I'm gonna give you a brief overview without giving away too many of the details. The Center for the Missing Child is an organization that looks for missing children. And it's all the ways that you can get caught up in this, what they want to do, how they operate, and how they can help your characters or hinder them if your characters aren't particularly delicate in some of their interactions. The Dream Syndicate look for reality in dreams, which you can imagine has a tie into the Dreamlands, and the Witness Alliance, which is for documenting, cataloging, and tracking hate groups and anti, insert name of group here, operations. The one that's kind of middle of the road is Agent Renko who is a, he is a Russian operative who may or may not be coming in from the cold, who may or may not be setting up your player characters, and who may or may not be one of the best things that ever happened to the Delta Green organization. I'm treading very lightly from here in case any of the players, are, in case any the, key, the handlers out there run this for their players. For example, with New Life Fertility, the name itself kind of gives you an idea of what it's about, it's a chain of fertility clinics that, op that offer affordable fertility care with heavy mythos overtones. The lonely, which are people who have been affected by the mythos but don't necessarily pull their act together afterwards and sort of become magnets for the unnatural. The sowers, which is this very clever and very, like, icky, New, very conservative Christian organi Christian denomination, although I use that word lightly, that set up compounds and plant crops, are very men-focused, and as a result, aren't always the kindest to their wives who take a backseat in everything, mystically as well. And finally, you have the Prana Sodality, which is a spinoff out of the Cult of Transcendence, and that's about all I'm going to say for it here because you got to read this one to really believe it. One of the biggest uh, biggest things this book tells you to do is use the non-player characters as, they, as they're here to really guide what the organization does. Because most mythos organizations don't fully understand what they're doing necessarily, but they do have a strong, but the, the, char the players are going to react with the characters in this more than they are, say, the great old one behind, or the outer god behind the scenes pulling the strings, saying, dance, monkey, dance. One of the other brilliant things this book does is gives you how to incorporate this into your game and how to use them in multi-plot arcs so that, the re so that their interactions and reaction with players increases as it goes on. I love this. This is Short of Adventures, which there are plenty of those out there too, ladies and gentlemen. Short of Adventures, this is a fantastic approach to organizations that your Delta Green player, your Delta Green characters can interact with. For Game Geeks, I'm your host, Kurt Weagle. Good day and good gaming.